New technology is boosting the number of parking tickets going out in Winter Park, and tonight we're learning how big that boost is. You know what we're talking about if you ever visit Park Avenue or Hannibal Square in Winter Park. The streets are clogged, and the closest parking often seems mm -hmm. blocks away if you can even find a spot. Channel 9 Sierra Putman learned this new technology put an extra 100 parking tickets in the city coffers beyond what's normally collected in a four-month period. And Sierra, you're live to show us what the new technology is looking for there in Winter Park. Well, these monitors are looking for this. Yes, your license plate and using that to determine how long you stay in one spot. Well, people just don't come here to get a shoe shot. Scott Whitehead has seen a lot after more than three decades shining shoes on Park Avenue. Sometimes they want to hear your honest opinion. From his perspective, one of the reasons parking is a problem is because shop and restaurant workers use these spots instead of the employee parking. It's not the people that's coming in and out. It's the employees that's parking here for eight hours. In October, the city said police were going to crack down on people staying parked for longer than the posted three or four hours, issuing $25 fines. It spent $35,000 for these monitors on top of parking enforcement vehicles. They scan license plates to track how long a vehicle is parked in one spot. From October 1st, 2018 to February 11th, 2019, Winter Park PD issued 1,130 tickets. That's 124 more tickets than during the same four-month period the year before. 195 more compared to two years ago. Say I parked about here, but still wanted to continue shopping without getting a ticket. I would have to move within my allotted time, but then find another spot at least 500 feet away. That's all the way down there. Police say the rule is not new, but the new software makes it easier to enforce and issue a $55 ticket. They're not as linear as they used to be because I think they're seeing the effect on the business. Whitehead says it's a good thing, as long as it doesn't negatively impact customers. And Winter Park says there are no plans to bring in additional parking or even an additional parking garage. However, Rollins College is planning to build a new parking garage as part of an expansion project. Reporting live in Winter Park, Sierra Puppet, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.